Well, I think he chose perhaps the most unqualified person he could uh, for this position. She's an enemy of public schools. She's someone who has used her inherited wealth and the wealth that she's married into to try to uh, de distort and reshape our laws to advance her personal views, which are that we should basically redefine public education to mean our tax dollars uh, should be going to fund uh, private schools, religious schools um, that advance her worldview. And so she's someone who didn't even send her kids to public schools. She's someone who um, basically has devoted her wealth to attacking our campaign finance laws, to attacking uh, labor, labor laws, and to attacking the very idea of having universal public education for all students that's truly public. Um, so she's someone who is manifestly unqualified. Um, I think it's going to be an enormous battle uh, nationally and in our states to protect our public schools, which is really one of the greatest innovations of, of America in the past century, to have universal public education, truly public schools for all, and to really invest in those schools. Um, putting her in charge of the Department of Education um, really is uh, an insult to all of the many teachers and educators and principals and so many Americans who um, have who have come through our public schools, who have had a chance in this economy to um, make it in their lives, uh, in part due to this commitment of America to public schools, which we need to invest in more, versus the sort of um, alternatives that Betsy DeVos has pushed, including charter schools that have sucked billions out of our, our public education system and that have resulted in hundreds of millions of dollars of fraud.